Hello, today's devotional can be found in the topical index under the word message in reference to Doctrine and Covenants section 138 verse 37. Dead here, message of redemption. Alright, so the Lord does not exclude anyone. There are people who die without hearing his message of salvation and redemption. There are people all over the world and all throughout time who die without hearing it. But you know what? He has a plan for them as well. After we die, our spirits either go to spirit prison or spirit paradise. And spirit prison isn't so much of a prison as it is a place of learning for those who died without hearing or accepting the gospel. And they go and they learn and they're taught by those in spirit paradise. And then promptings come to those on the other side of the veil of life, those who are still alive and worthy to go to the temple. And their names are found in family search or any sort of genealogical program. And those who are members can put their loved one's names on family trees in a program called Family Search, or they can help others do it. They can do it for others who ask them. And those names are printed on little cards, and they're taken to temples all over the world. And the people who are living and take the names to the temple serve as proxies for those who have gone before, and they're able to be baptized, confirmed, even initiatory is endowed and sealed when appropriate. And hence that is what doing work for the dead is. Being given the saving ordinance is being given a chance to be saved from the ignorance that plagued them in life, whether or not it was their fault. There are some who remained ignorant simply because the government and the circumstances of the time would not allow them to leave their ignorance because some people in power fear those who climb their way out of ignorance that they might be able that they might cause some real trouble so they use the law that is supposed to be fair and good to keep people in their ignorance by force with the threat of death or t other terrible things happening. And it's quite sad. Because I'm sure lots of people want to know the truth. And people think that they are not free to do whatever they want. People can pray in their hearts if nowhere else. And there are some who do not think they are in need of the message of the Lord. And they reject it. And the Lord's aware of this. And he will offer them the message of redemption when they die. All must go through this process of either learning or teaching. Nobody's exempt. But what we do in this life matters so much because it determines whether we will be a learner or teacher. We will be one or the other, so let's not waste any time in this life and let's make the most in each and every day. Because there is so much to do even after death that we can't spend our time dwelling on what we did not do in life. And with that said, nobody is forgotten. The Lord doesn't forget anyone. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.